people think that we sort of sit down and go, okay, now how can we be offensive? What can we do that's really hardcore and who, and who can we piss off? And whether it's any episode of South Park or whether it's this, it's just not where we start from. We start from, okay, what's the best story to tell and what would the characters be? And, we're, and that's when we immediately got into, oh, it should be about missionaries because they, they're young, they get paired with someone they don't know and we're like, oh, that could be like the love story. You know, and then they get sent somewhere across the world. It's such a coming of age story. Arnold Cunningham is an 18-year-old missionary who's being paired with Elder Price. And in this very odd couple sort of way, the two of them get sent to a drastically dark and um, different part of the world than they ever expect to be sent to. And they have to somehow find a way to convert these people who have no faith into finding hope in a higher purpose. There's a book called Under the Banner of Heaven that Jonathan Krakauer wrote. He goes back and discusses the history of the Mormon religion. And because it's such a new religion and because it's, uh, it's only, you know, it's not even 200 years old, you can track it all back factually. It's not about any sort of mythology. There are documents about Joseph Smith, and not religious documents, but legal documents, because it really wasn't that long ago. So if you do a little bit of digging, which I did, and I just became fascinated by it, I thought it was really just wildly interesting, the fact that this man created this religion in America that then was the fastest growing religion in the world. Um, and he did it you know, within a couple of lifetimes. Being kind of a minority religion in America that most people outside of Utah don't know a lot about, to really play to an audience of non-Mormons, it's got to be a little bit educational. You can learn a little bit about Mormons, and you can laugh at Mormons and with Mormons. But then in the end, hopefully we'll realize that we're trying to make something that's larger than just these specific group of people, something that, that expands itself to all religions and even all stories and culture and... and um, and just the way stories and religion are transmitted. I feel like it becomes less about specifically Mormonism and more about just faith in general. So obviously the Mormon stuff is a, is a jumping off place for us in the show, but it could be about anything. It could be about Catholicism. It could be about Judaism. I mean, you know, I think that you take away the details, and that's sort of what we're trying to say is it, all of those details, if you break it down, it sounds sort of ridiculous and it sounds completely unbelievable, but... But that's not the point. That's not the, that's not the point of this. It's 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 what is the greater message.